So if we're going to build with concrete using cement, we need to make sure that we reduce the amount of carbon that you found associated with that cement. And there are things that you can be doing to do that. What are you specifically doing for climate action? So there's two things. The first thing is making sure that our own in-house operations are driving uh, performance uh, in the most appropriate manner. Mm. So, you know, running our own facilities, we use energy, so we, we're procuring uh, green energy, it's certified. We need to be smart about how we travel. And, and even our procurement, so our office equipment, understanding the ecological footprint associated with our, what we buy, whether it's a, a, a computer or a printer or what, whatever it might be. And we've now set targets. So our climate action is aligned to try and reduce our impact to make certain we stay within that 1.5 degrees temperature increase. But that's what I would call business as usual, that's the kind of stuff that any practice should be able to do. Mm. It's within our direct control. What's harder is actually influencing our clients to yeah. adopt sustainable design principles and actually influencing it at such a, a level that the actual finished product and the asset or the building and how it's performing mm. is delivering a net zero carbon um, equation, if you like. And that's the biggest thing. So, so we've actually, uh, we've looked at it yeah, basically a little bit like algebra. So you've got something called embodied carbon, that's the, the carbon associated with those construction materials and transportation, and you've got your operational energy, that's the energy that's going to be used in, in running the, the building. Mm -hmm. We need to understand how much carbon is associated in both those areas, mm -hmm. and then we need to take action to dramatically reduce that through design um, influences. And so that can be um, making sure that we don't use materials that have high embodied carbon. Like so, wood, for example? No, wood is good because wood, wood is not carbon neutral, but throughout the production of wood, it, it, it takes carbon out of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So wood's actually an environmentally friendly product to be using. Mm -hmm. What's a, a more damaging uh, product would be something like um, cement. So if you use traditional Portland cement that has a very high carbon content. So if we're going to build with concrete using cement, we need to make sure that we reduce the amount of carbon that you found associated with that cement. And there are things that you can be doing to do that. But the basic principle would be use less of it. So these are some principles that everyone can, can um, adopt. Mm -hmm. So if you understand how you can reduce embodied carbon and reduce operational energy, you've got the best possible chance to get to net zero carbon.